Hello and welcome back to OpenTTD, where we are looking at this lovely landscape which has nothing on it. It's untouched, unravaged by us. SpeedyNet, the famous company which has done nothing up till so far. But that's not strange because we're at the start of the game. The 1st of January 1850 with 200,000 euros in our pocket. Yep, we had euros in the 1850s, believe me. Now, the big question will be, what will be our first move, of course? And, well, one of the things we should do, really, is build our HQ. But, see, I don't really want to build our HQ at just some random place. I want to build it at a place where we have some activity going on. So, um, we will wait a little bit with building our HQ till we got ourselves some, well, business going. Well, if we're not gonna build our HQ, what will be our first move in terms of transportation? Well, I can tell you what it won't be. It won't be passengers. Because this hard pack has it set up in a way that construction near towns is a lot more expensive. I think if uh, I were to build a road, for example, over here, this would cost me two and a half grand. And that's a five tile road. Oh, the game was <laughs> was paused so you couldn't see it, but look, see? Oh, 2.7 grand even. That's a lot of money for just a five tile stretch road. And that's also why we won't be going into passengers. At least not at the start. I mean, I definitely am gonna be moving passengers about at a later point. But not right now, because we will go horribly broke on doing so. Uh, well. Are we gonna do land-based industries then? You know, stuff like farms and whatever? No. Because to get this up and running, we need to get ourselves, you know, some proper investments in infrastructure. We need to build train tracks, stations, roads and all that. And even though they're cheaper than building in town, it still requires a big investment of which we have to pay a lot of company tax on. So, well, uh, what's left then? Lies over here, on the sea, fishing grounds. Yep, we'll be going out fishing <laughs> to make our money. <laughs> uh, well, at least it, it's somewhat historically accurate as well that, you know, the real transportation and trading and all that went by sea as well in the early days. And then later on with horses and uh, trains and, well, uh, uh, Cars, aircraft, and <laughs> vacuum tube trains. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get that gist of it. You know, it's historically accurate. <laughs> Not that that would be, you know, that that's gonna be defining for this game, but well, I think it's a good uh, reason to start out with ships. So, um, to get started, we need a few things. For one, just sending ships to the fishing grounds isn't enough. What we really need is a place to take the fish to. And, well, we can find out where we need to take the fish to if we go to the display chain over here. And it says that the fish can only be taken to a fishing harbor. <laughs> Gotta make sense, if you ask me. Uh, so what we need is a fishing harbor. And, hmm, not looking good. Oh no, wait, here is a fishing harbor. Look at this, you know, dock, loading crane, boats <laughs> that never sail out. <laughs> oh, and these are actually motorized boats in the 1850s. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oil refineries in the 1850s, I know. But uh, that's not the point, really. It's all about the gameplay. Now, to get ourselves some industry of fish going, you know, some fish transportation, what we need is... Uh, oh, crap. We need a dock and a shipyard. So... Let's get ourselves a shipyard going. So we can get ourselves some ships and a dock. Now, what we don't want to do is build the dock too close to the harbor. Otherwise, we're gonna the ships are gonna have an issue turning around. So we want to build it somewhere over there. Well, that looks good. And um, yeah, well, ready to get some ships then, right? Let's take a look at the list of stuff that we have in ship in terms of ships. Look at this. We got ourselves some lovely sailing ships, which is no surprise considering the GRFs that we got. Uh, but yeah, quite a few ones as well. 
However, for our situation over here, we have ourselves a lot of distance to cover. I mean, this is quite a big distance. And ships, <laughs> I mean sailing ships, they aren't known for blazing speeds. And if you take a look, like this brig, 20 kilometers an hour. <laughs> I mean, it will take months for it to just make one round here. Now, the fastest thing that we have is this schooner, 32 kilometers an hour, <laughs> which is still slow, but faster than this freaking brig faster than the bark and faster than the merchant map even faster than the steamship but then there is this on the clipper also 32 kilometers an hour and it can take a whole lot more than this tiny cute schooner <laughs> so yeah we will be using the clipper and um well if we take a look this can take 170 crates of goods but we have ourselves quite a few fishing grounds to surf. Look, and oh my god, oh my god, 104 tons of fish. <laughs> That's a lot. Alright, these two kind of cancel each out out to be like, well, 60 tons of fish, these two. And that seems to be what, yeah, that's a figure. They're all like medium producing fishing grounds. That means that we will need more than just one clipper because it will take a while and it will this whole round that I got in mind here will be producing a lot more fish than just the 170 uh, tons that it can carry. So what we need to do is, well there's two things we can deal with this or we're gonna uh, add a lot more uh, ships to this or we split up the route. And I've been watching over here, and I see that there's another fishing harbor. So, perhaps what we should do is exclude these two from the route, and just to have uh, our clippers go to these ones, you know, following the coast over here, and then have like uh, a small schooner just serve these two. I think that that would be a pretty solid strategy. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's set it up like that. Now... Let's buy ourselves one of these big clipper ships. <laughs> 85,000. That's a lot of money. We can only buy two of those. And, uh, well, we might as well. But for now, uh, we are going to set this up. There. And then to the Brunway South. The Great Paddingworth Valley. Fish grounds, <laughs> the other fishing grounds. Look at that. I mean, there's so many fishing grounds here that the name generated couldn't even generate an original name. And um, then to the docks, really. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of important. And uh, there it is, our very first ship. However, we do need to do one thing before we set it off, and that is we need to adjust its uh, cargo uh, capacity or compatibility. And that also shows the list of <laughs> possible cargoes, and man, is it a lot. I mean, we could even transport recyclables <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> in a sailing ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we need fish, but uh, I mean, oh, the list. Oh, it's amazing. Right, we will refit the ship, and um, it's done. Ready to go on its merry first maiden voyage. And look at the sails, man. Doesn't this look cute and amazing? Uh, oh, and one other thing that I kind of should mention, <laughs> I kind of forgot, is um, I have changed our color scheme a little bit. Uh, you know, in the previous video, I said we go with orange and red, but we are not. We're going to go with orange and white. And I have set up all the other color schemes as well for that. You know, I think it looks quite cool. Orange, white, you know. It gives it a light, fast and speedy appearance, which, as it happens, fits our company name beautifully. So, well then, um, there it is, our ship has just... Uh, did you go to the docks first? Yeah, you did. Alright, that, that means that we won't need that order there. <laughs> so, good. And, uh, well, the first round it will make is, of course, going to be empty because there's no fish waiting at this moment. So, yeah, that is a bit of a thing. Uh, we also need a second clipper for this, I feel. I don't think that 
we will be having enough with this one clipper. I think that it will fill up way before it reaches the Grindtown fishing grounds. So we will be getting ourselves a new clipper, but we are going to be cloning this ship. Now, the thing is that I have experimented with shared orders and at least on ships, it doesn't work that well. It works well if you want to add something to the root, but if you want to remove something from the root, then it bugs out really with shared orders. So I won't be using those, but well, you know, we will have just a regular clone. But that's just to say, you know, I just wanted to mention it that I have toyed around with it. I know how it works. It's just that there's a bug uh, currently with the ships if we try and use it. Because what would happen, say for example, this, uh, we get a new fishing harbor over here. And I want this fishing ground to be taken care of by this fishing harbor. You know, we have a new ship. So I need to remove this from the... Uh, list of shared orders. What would happen then is that uh, our ships will just start to unload all the fish at a random fishing ground <laughs> and there's no way for me to prevent that from happening by saying no unloading or whatever. <laughs> they will still do it. Uh, so yeah, you kind of have to trust me on that. It's an annoying bug because if it happens <laughs> then well, you know, we're kind of screwed at the start because we don't have that much money. We are not that healthy of a company to take on game bugs. So Now, uh, this ship is almost at like halfway point of its route. I think once it's over here, somewhere, once it has finished or uh, visited this big fishing grounds, then we will launch our second ship which has the romantic name of a ship too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, also, has this been set up to... I don't know, might be... No, well, anyway, it's set up now, so... Uh, but yeah, as you can see, 32 kilometers is really slow. So, what we can do is we can warp time. But, rather than doing that by video editing, I can also do that in-game. Look, this buton makes it go twice as fast. Which uh, yeah, is quite nice. We'll be using that a lot in the early game, but later on, once we got ourselves a big company going, I don't think we need to use it all that often. Anyway, time to launch the second ship, and there she goes. Look at all the beautiful sails and all that. And uh, yeah, see, there's 22 tons of fish already. And imagine if we would only have had one ship. That would certainly not be enough to carry what will be waiting over here once it has made its full round <laughs> because right now <laughs> it just made this small round and already there's 27 tons of fish waiting so yeah we definitely need two ships for this but right now it's just a waiting game really we just need to wait for these ships to get back to the harbor really um, another thing, by the way, that is quite nice is um, the cargo distribution, which I can show you now a little bit of. Right now, it says to any station, uh, you know, as destination, so we can take it anywhere. However, the moment we start to deliver fish to the Brunway docks, this will change to 11 tons of fish to the Brunway docks. And by having the fish have a destination, we are not able to take it to another fishing dock here. You know, or a uh, fishing harbor, I mean. Now, that's not to say that we are, uh, you know, that the whole destination will be fixed forever. But, uh, we, we can change it. It does update every 16 days. and But it only updates if there is another possible destination for it. Right now there's only the docks and the only destination for it is the Brunway docks because <laughs> that's the only place where the ships visiting this fishing ground go to. If I wanted to change that what I would need to have is to have another ship visit over here go to another dock and do that a couple of times empty till the cargo distribution has been updated. So. Yeah, uh, anyway, um, that is just a quick explanation. We'll see that more in action later on, once we got ourselves a true and proper complex thing going. Now, this ship over here is loaded with fish. 
and you should even carry more fish. No, you don't. Nah, it's, see, they, they both are more or less over halfway filled up with a good amount of it. And uh, that's good. You, it's best to have at least some capacity left over here. Not too much. I mean, 147, that's good. But it's best to have at least some capacity for when the production increases. We can at least handle that without there uh, coming a big backlog of fish just waiting, really. Now, you are almost there. Look, it's unloading. 14,000 euro bucks. <laughs> That's a lot. And this whole voyage, I mean, it only took them, like, I think, 40 bucks <laughs> for two months of work. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Imagine how cheap the crew is to maintain. <laughs> they only take 40 bucks for a complete crew of a three uh, mast sailing ship. Yeah. <laughs> We're not underpaying them at all. <laughs> Slavery? I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's like 14k. This one has a little bit less cargo, uh, so it will probably be making a little bit less money. But 14k is good. Now, the, well, the th one thing is at the start that we only got two ships, <laughs> so the amount of cash that we will be getting is very sporadically. So. Yeah, we need to just enlarge our empire a little bit. And uh, for that, first of all, what I need is uh, another good load of money. And uh, well, how much fish do you have? 56. And then how much is waiting over here? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Right, well, come home to the dock. Whoops. <laughs> Game fart here. <laughs> it just had a little bit of a hiccup. But um, come on, go to the dogs and unload. And show me how much money you make. Right. Come on. Brunway dogs, you're almost there. <laughs> I also like it how it just bumps into it. Look. Bam. <laughs> 11,000. Pretty decent as well. So, yeah. Cool. Now, we have enough cash to get ourselves another dock over here for this fishing harbor and service these two fishing grounds. Now I know I could have gone with this third one as well but no really I mean then it would have been kind of pointless to have these two big ships serving over here. So now what we will be doing is we will just be uh, having a schooner go uh, to these two fishing grounds and that should be enough in terms of capacity for what they'll be producing. I mean, they, they were mediocre, yeah, producing fishing grounds. They were. We don't need a new shipping, a shipyard, ship depot, whatever. <laughs> a ship depot? <laughs> really? A depot? <laughs> Could have been a little bit more adjusting, but oh well. Anyway, um, yeah, we will have ourselves one of these schooners. And uh, we will set it to fish. Yes, and we will then go to the fishing grounds, and then to this one, and then to the docks there. Now, I'm, I find it hard to believe that one schooner won't be enough, but the, there is a small option that this schooner won't be able to handle the amount of fish produced because I mean it is really tiny look at it look at how lovely and tiny it is and it shows 40 tons is not a lot it's also a, a lot cheaper as well look at that two bucks oh it's so cute it's adorable <laughs> uh, so yeah there it is our empire it is well growing and we need to speed up time a little bit so that we will at least be making some money so we can invest further. But for now, we are moving fish to and from. And that fish at the fishing harbor is turned into food. And as you can see, there's 90 tons of food over there. That food can be taken to some place. And if we take a look at the display chain, it shows that the fishing harbor uh, can... Well, it makes food, and that can be transported to houses, petrol stations, grocery shops, and hotels. So, yeah, we could also take the 
uh, food to, say for example, a hotel or a grocer shop. There are quite a few grocer shops. Oh, <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> There's one over here and I didn't even know it. Uh, but yeah, so we could take some of the food that we'll be producing over here to this town, for example. However, um, like I said, you know, building in towns is still very expensive, so... Ooh, it's actually filled up completely. Though, there's not much left here, just one ton of fish. Right, so this one schooner is just perfect for the job it needs to do. Now, like I said, uh, we could transport the food, but we might... I think we will do that at a later date. Uh, for now though, I think it wouldn't be such a bad idea to just scout ahead a little bit for another place where there is fishing grounds. So, because right now we got three ships, that's nice, but I do want uh, you know, a few more ships before we make landfall with our company. Ooh, I do see that over here in this bay there are a lot more fishing grounds. That's nice. Um, wow, wait, what? <laughs> so we had a bit of a lack of fishing harbors, but this, <laughs> I mean, seriously, <laughs> this is a little bit <laughs> redundant, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, speaking about the overkill over here, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Ooh, a hotel, fishing harbors. Ah, I see one and one making two over here. So let's take a let's take a look at the situation, right? Let's unpause it because we need the money. We have not so great produce. Oh, never mind. 96 tons. Oh my lord! These two. This is. Oh wow. All right. Not so great. Not so great. But man, the, you saw the amount of fish that is over here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> now, as I said, you know, the, over here we got ourselves like these four fishing grounds. They are reasonably close by and they don't produce a whole lot. So what I'm thinking of doing, well, the, these ones over here, hmm, they are a little bit too, maybe, what I'm thinking of doing here is uh, to have uh, one big clipper thing surface these four and then have like two schooners take care of these four and bring that to this fishing harbor and have the uh, clipper uh, go to these two fishing harbors which well what we could then do as well is we could just uh, have the food be transported towards this hotel though I don't know really I'm not seeing that happening from this way all the way from this harbor really that's too far so maybe maybe what I should do instead then is have all the fishing grounds be taken to this fishing harbor that means that we will most definitely need another two clippers for that. And we don't have the money to get two clippers right now. I think though that that might be the better option. Or perhaps not. No, I think maybe later on we should be, we could get this food to some other place. Yeah, alright, so that's the plan. Now, as it happens, we by now got ourselves some money. Uh, by the way, you know, a thing that I haven't really checked out is how much money this schooner is making us. <laughs> so, come on, race to the docks here and show me how much profits you're making. Alright, there it goes. Brunway East. Unload, please. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost as tight. Ah, oh, two and a half grants. That's pretty decent. Pretty good. Yeah, quite liking that. And uh, how's our other ships doing? You, how much profit have you made? 45 grand. 34. Look at that. And this one's actually almost filled up as well with fish. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good indeed. Now, um, like I said, we need to get a move on over here. Now, we can't just afford uh, a 
clipper just yet but what we can do is uh, build ourselves the infrastructure that we need because well, we need the same stuff over here really we need a ship depot so we'll build that over here and we need ourselves a dock and well this isn't really the best place for it because it's too close to the fishing harbor but I don't really well I could build it over here of course sure that would work yeah all right we'll do that we'll have the docks be over there then fine fine now come on ships make me more money I need the cash to buy us a clipper yeah, it only costs 85 grand. So with one more load from one of our big ships, we should have enough to buy ourselves the new clipper. Which, oh man, I can't wait for it. You should as well have a full load, right? Yeah, 169 tons of fish. This will be a lot of money and I can't wait to see how much it is exactly. Ooh, you saw that. The ship actually raised and we got 16 grants. Amazing. Right, time to buy ourselves our fourth ship or our third clipper. So, uh, we will refit it to fish there. And we will set this one up to just service this one, this one, this one, there, and there. Yeah, those are like the five fishing grounds and oh man I'm pretty sure that this one clipper won't be enough but we'll have to see we will have to see anyway because yeah we don't have the money to buy our second clipper that we might need for this route so yeah uh, but yeah my guess is that it won't have enough capacity to handle these two ginormously producing fishing grounds, especially this one, 108, I mean, wow, that's just crazy, really is crazy. Um, anyway, whilst we are waiting on uh, some money to be generated, let me just quickly show you how big our map is, because, <laughs> well, we can also zoom out quite a bit further now, but yeah, just to give you an impression, and then I can just zoom all the way down. No edges there. Now we are, have started quite a bit in the center uh, already. <laughs> I cannot find in the, even where we have started, but balls. <laughs> anyway, yeah, see the map is huge, <laughs> big, massive. <laughs> we will never fill this up. But that's the whole point, you know. This is more like a true world as well. And as you can see, it's actually quite, well, lakey. There's a lot of water in it, and I quite like that. But not enough, it's not just an island, it's, there is plenty of land. It's just that there's also a lot of water. So, I quite like how this terrain is generated. Now, I can't really find where we are in terms of, well, our base of operations, really. So... Oh, I think it might be over here. Yep, there. <laughs> Look at that. Just found it. Now, you haven't, yeah, you haven't really returned to the docks with any load. So we'll just have to wait on this one. But I'm pretty curious to find out, like, how much profit it will make. And how much cargo uh, will be left over at this fishing ground. My suspicion is that it will be a lot. Or uh, maybe not actually. It is the distance isn't that far, so we might actually be good. 12, 24, 10. Yeah, I think that it won't be a problem really. I think that this one clipper over here is perfect for the job. Right, that's good. So if you are indeed perfect Yeah. Yeah, this will be no problem really. If I would have added these though, yeah, that would have been an issue. But we will get ourselves two schooners dealing with these fishing grounds. And uh, in fact, let's get ourselves uh, a dock over there. And we might as well get ourselves a new um, ship <laughs> depot because 
the ships do need surfacing and if our schooners have to go all the way over here for surfacing nah that's not really gonna work out so well so we will get ourselves a depot over there just for our two schooners i mean the depots only cost like one and a half grand which is not a whole lot so now then how much look at that perfect one clipper is just enough to service all these fishing grounds amazing right well i think that we now have enough money as well to get ourselves uh, a come on game a new schooner yeah look at that we have enough money for that so we will refit this to fish come on fish <laughs> where is it yeah <laughs> this is so long i can't even find it and uh, then we will go to these two and go to the docks right and then we want another schooner which i can almost buy in fact i can buy it <laughs> so we will and we will refit you to fish as well and you will go to the other two fishing grounds there look and now <laughs> we are more or less broke <laughs> we only got 264 euro bucks but we do have ourselves quite the arsenal of uh, ships by now because if we oh that's the wrong buton uh oh that is a bit unfortunate <laughs> i think i might have hit the pause record button there right yeah i need to fiddle around with the hotkeys uh i will just open this like this <laughs> um, a lot easier and uh, yeah look at this this is our ship list and here we can also see how much profit everything's making and this schooner i mean it is making quite a good amount of money of course not as much as the big ships but still no it's quite profitable and right now with the amount of ships that we have which uh, i mean it's not all that not much we only got like six ships but already we are making quite a bit of profit so pretty good pretty good indeed um now we got ourselves these fishing grounds pretty much covered the next move would logically be to move some food about right i mean over here we have a well this brunway east dock which we could have some food transported to brunway but since Brunway is like a town and it's really expensive to build in towns, what I'm thinking of doing is, oh, but yeah, here there are farm fields. Now, farm fields are also very expensive to build on. So, hmm, because I was thinking of transporting some food to this hotel, but yeah, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. And from this fishing harbor, there's nowhere close to get our food to. There's not even a grocery shop over here. So, yeah. Um, I think... Well, we have this one. So, really, the only option that we have of transporting food is from this fishing harbor. However, we've only got one schooner doing the whole... Uh, you know fish uh, supplying over here and uh, 50 tons of food is not a lot the amount of infrastructure that we'd have to build over here is well we need a road uh, quite a long one we also need to build in town it would cost a lot of cash only to transport a minor amount of food so we will not be doing that in fact we'll go on the hunt for some more fishing grounds and uh, well if we zoom out a little bit where there is all the way over here but i find that quite a bit far away from our base of operations though <laughs> any other fit oh there is one fishing ground over here but yeah <laughs> by the way if there's one fishing ground there's three freaking fish harbors hmm, <laughs> i don't know but it seems a bit unbalanced well, this is a nice open area though there is however not a fishing harbor oh there is there is it's also reasonably close to our base of operations i consider this to be like our base of operations so yeah i think we can work something out over here 
with the one fishing harbor that oh no we got another one over there look at all the fishing grounds though <laughs> look at the density of them oh amazing wow another of these two crazy high producing ones nice 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 right so our next move will be to set up shop over here and once we got this up and running i think here we have a lot more options in terms of where we deliver our food to is there a grocery shop in here doesn't seem so so we can't deliver it to this town uh over here there is a grocery shop so so we could just try bring our food towards this town and over here because well and especially with these two we will pro be producing quite a lot of food and thus the whole investment of building a road into town no less that will all be worth it besides we won't need that much infrastructure in this town all that we really need is just this stretch of road leading up to here so yeah that is i can definitely see that happening however for that we need more money so let's speed up the game a little bit <laughs> and give me money <laughs> yeah you can just give it to me as well 2000 not enough i need a clipper so we need to wait a little bit and save up for like uh, a clipper by the way i never really checked how much money you yeah <laughs> and i can't check it because you got multiple loads all right so we need to wait for this ship to get back to the harbor well let's uh, let's wait for that and it's almost at the docks so with a full load show me how much money do you make should be quite a lot actually to be honest i mean full load 170 tons of fish that's no small beer ah 14 grand amazing i know that's not as much as the 16 grand the other ship was making but those i mean they had uh, fishing grounds that were a little bit further away and distance does matter in this so by the way how much are you making you are making enough right yeah, it is making profit it's just that this schooner is even more than enough to handle these two fishing grounds really wow apparently it's not enough to deal with those fishing grounds and look at that wow have i set you up to the right capacity yeah i have oh <laughs> balls <laughs> balls i see what i forgot here yeah herper derp <laughs> great start of the legendary company speedy net forgetting <laughs> the order for a ship to return to the docks right let's not repeat that again and uh, let's do it proper over here so uh, let's get ourselves some infrastructure set up we need a dock this is quite a good spot for a dock build that there we need the depot as well and we might as well just get it out here and uh, let's get ourselves another schooner or uh, i mean clipper yeah i'm still confusing these names a little bit but all right set this up for fish i mean so far we're not really a transport company we're more like a fishing company but <laughs> and not fishing with a ph <laughs> yeah we're a fishing company we send fake emails <laughs> with sailing ships <laughs> uh right we will also go to you and then you and then back to the dogs tell you what though I mean this route is actually quite long and we might even have to get ourselves another clipper on this route because of this fishing grounds really if not it would totally not have been needed but uh, since this one is there we might need a yeah really do might need another clipper ah we'll have to see though uh for now at least I think that we have been doing quite well for ourselves. I mean, we got ourselves a impressive fleet. And yeah, 
with uh, seven ships. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'll also go ahead and group these uh, really quickly, by the way, because at the moment we're only transporting fish. But uh, if I ever were to upgrade this, then I will. Now, in terms of sea trade, really, I mean, ships are always slow. So speed will always be the determining factor. And since their uh, load doesn't really matter in terms of, well, their uh, speed. I mean, if they're full, they'll still go as fast as they go when they're empty. Uh, I'll just make groups here for big ships and small ships. So let's get a new one. <laughs> the big ships. <laughs> big speedy ships. Speedy ships. Right. And then we will get another one for small speedy ships. Oh, speedy ships. Ships, but <laughs> no ships. There. And then we can just put those in there. Uh, that's better. Look, like this. Uh, like this. Then if we ever need to replace these sailing ships, because at some point, <laughs> trust me on this, we will get better ships than just sailing ships. I mean, we won't be using these in the year 3000. Or perhaps we will. Who knows what the future will bring. But um, yeah, got that sorted now. But uh, I think that right now is a nice moment to say to you, uh, join me next time. Because... I think that we've done quite well for a startup. It's still the first year of uh, well, 18, or we're still in 1850. In, we're in September of 1850, but already we got ourselves seven ships, and we do make somewhat of a profit. I mean, if we take a look at our income graph, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's almost the vertical. <laughs> that fast it goes up. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Soon, TM, we will be able to expand our horizon from fishing ships and all that. But for now, yeah, we are a sailing company with seven ships and soon more will follow. But that and more all has to wait for next time when we play more Open TTD.